4D Magician Hat with a Pop-Up Bunny Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video I'm going to show you a really fun little 4D Magician Hat with a bunny yeah. rabbit that pops out of it. I think this is adorable and it's got these star glitters that encapsulated in the nail that look like they're swooping into the hat like there's this I don't know, I think of it as like smoking stars, yeah. like you know something is about to happen. I hope yeah. you like it as much as I do, yeah. and don't forget to click subscribe, see all my future videos as well. I'm going to begin with an overlay of Cover Pink Acrylic. I want the background of this nail to really show off those glitters, and the best color for that is something pretty um, invisible, like a Cover Pink. And then I'm going to take those star glitters, and I've dipped a bead of clear acrylic right into the jar of those wonderful little shapes, and I'm going to apply those. I want them to be really thick along the line of the cuticle, and then sort of swirl down into the middle where the hat is going to be. Then encapsulate the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that those star-shaped glitters are not going anywhere. And then after that is done, I'm going to file the nail into shape with my e-file. If you want a more in-depth um, look at how to place glitters, if you want to do it more precisely, I can put a link to that in the description box below. That also goes through some tips and tricks for making sure that they are very smooth and very well um, encapsulated as well. So now on a straw, this is going to be a smoothie straw or a bobo straw or a bubble tea straw, whatever you want to call it. It's a really, really wide one. We're going to be sculpting the first part of the hat. So you want to sculpt 50% of the way around the straw with a nice wide band. This is going to be for the tall part of the hat where the bunny is hiding. So after you have that and it's all set up, you're just going to, and you can keep kind of playing around with it and fixing up the shape while it's on the straw. But after it's all done and it's all set up and you can just set it to the side while you're waiting, then you can pop it off the straw and it'll hold that wonderful curved shape. And then on a nail form backing, we're going to be sculpting a rectangle that is approximately the same size as the, you know, if you flattened off that rectangle. So now we're just going to set that half cylinder on top of that rectangle of black acrylic on the nail form backing and kind of finish it off. So half of your head is flat and half of it is circular, which is kind of weird, but that's what you're going for. And then we're going to sculpt a half circle of black acrylic on a nail form backing and ignore the fact that I'm carving a little hole in there. I decided I would just deal with it later and then set your hat on end inside or on top of that half circle so that you're filling in all these different sides of your cylinder so that you don't have these open gaps. And then flip the hat over, and on a nail form backing, we're going to be sculpting the brim of the hat. So this time you're not filling in one of the holes of the hat, but you're adding a layer to the outside. So sculpt halfway around it and create this large half circle. At this point, we're now going to just hold the hat with the tweezers to make it easier and so you don't accidentally get uncured acrylic on your hands. We're going to take and we're going to fix up the shape of the hat because it's a little bit too square right now. So you want the hat to kind of flare out at the brim and then sort of tuck in in the middle and then flare back out at the very top of it. What's funny thing is that what I keep calling the top of the hat is actually the bottom when you look at the design because the hat's upside down for the bunny to come out. But the top of the top hat is where, <laughs> where you're flaring it back out. And just smooth out the shape in general with more black acrylic. It doesn't have to be perfect. But then using the e-file and a narrow, narrow bit, we're going to carve a hole in the bottom of the hat or the top of the hat, depending on how you're going to think about it, just for the wire of your bunny to go through. So as you can see right there. And then I'm going to take some red acrylic and I'm going to be sculpting some trim around the hat. So you can choose whatever color you want for the trim or omit the trim completely, but whenever I think top hat, I always go red acrylic for the brim, or for the trim. Trim, brim, all these wonderful words that are getting tangled in my tongue. Um, and so when you're doing that, you just want to very gently pat it around, then you can tuck the shape in a little bit with the tip of your brush to make sure that it doesn't kind of spread out and make sure it looks nice and clean. Then glue the hat to the tip of the nail so it looks like those stars are disappearing into it. And then after that's glued down, you're going to see that there's a little bit of a uh, really big space behind it. So fill that in with some clear acrylic to make sure it is really strong and fully attached to the nail because you don't want to accidentally bump this and have it fly off into Never Never Land. Then I'm going to take some red paint and I'm going to brighten up that trim because try as I might, red acrylic, regardless of the brand, I haven't tried all of them, but it just seems like it's never as bright as I want it to be. So I'm going to liven it up a little bit with some of that red acrylic red acrylic paint, I should specify, but gel polish or gel paint would also do the job. And then apply a layer of gel sealer over the background to make sure that those stars shine ever so brightly. Some matte top coat over the hat to seal in that acrylic paint and give the whole hat an even sheen. So now back to our nail form backing, we're going to start working on the cute little bunny. And there's so many options with this bunny. You can go full cartoon, um, think classic Easter bunny type 
big eyes, big teeth, etc. type of a look, or you can go more realism, or you can go like I did and try to find a happy medium. I looked at so many different bunny pictures, you guys, before deciding on what style I wanted for this little rabbit, and half of me was like, I want to go totally cartoonsy. Oh, I always say that, cartoonsy. Cartoonsy. And make him look like he's stepped off of a children's book, or I was like, or I'm going to make him completely realistic, and finally I just decided to go halfway in between. I began with white acrylic, and same thing with your bunny. You can choose the color, too. You can have some fun with it. He could be pink or green or white or brown or beige, whatever you want. And I sculpted his head and ears, and then I'm going to add just the top of his body. You don't need to sculpt the entire bunny body because you don't have that much room inside the hat. And as you're sculpting this guy, make sure that you're mindful of how big the space is for him to hide inside the hat so that you don't accidentally make him way too big and he doesn't fit and have to start over. I've done that before with designs. A long time ago, I made a toaster design that was actually really cute and a little toast popped up. If you guys go to try to find it, you're not going to because I never uploaded it because my toast was always too big and I made it like five times and it was always too big. So finally, I just scrapped the whole thing because I was like, Ugh, I'm not doing this. But any uh your bunny, make sure he's not too big or you may have the frustrating experience like I did. So after you have his face and his body done with the white, I'm going to take some very light pink and I'm going to fill in a little bit in his ears. And then I'm going to take some more white acrylic now that that first little bit has set up completely. And I'm not going to disturb it by adding some more. And I'm going to add a bit more depth on his face. So we're going to have his little cheeks and then a bridge of his nose coming up. And then I'm going to switch to a gray acrylic and I'm going to add a little bit of shading on my bunny. So there's so many different um, color patterns that you can stick on a rabbit. So I went with just a little bit of gray on the sides of his body. There's a couple reasons for that. Uh, one, it makes him look a bit more realistic, which is part of what I was going for. And two, it gives this design so much more depth and detail without it being very thick. And that is kind of a key when you're sculpting something like this because you can't sculpt that much height onto it because then it won't fit comfortably inside the hat. There is quite a bit of space in that hat, but you also have to remember that you have to have plenty of room for the wire behind the bunny. It's not just the thickness of the bunny. He's also going to have wire. So you have to make sure there's enough space for both the bunny and the wire in the hat to come in and out without getting stuck or even kind of getting stuck. So just work on all of that and you should be fine. Add his eyes, then glue that infamous wire to the back of your bunny. After the glue is on there, use some clear acrylic to set it in place so that you don't accidentally knock it off because that would be so sad. And then detail the bunny with some acrylic paint. I'm going to start with black and just work on adding all of the details. I did not completely outline my bunny because I, like I said, I'm trying to go for somewhere between cartoon and realistic, somewhere halfway in the middle there. And I'm doing my best. If you guys love bunny rabbits and you want to see some more bunny or rabbit themed designs that I've done in the past, I can put links in the description box below. I know one of my favorites is a Fabergé egg that opens up and then there's a very realistic little bunny portrait painted inside. I love that design. Every time I see it, I just want to play the video over again because I just, I love it so much. So if you missed that one, that one's a couple years old, definitely go back and check that out. Add a little bit of white in the bunny's eyes. And then after that, we're going to apply some matte tap coat over the top of the bunny so that all that acrylic paint is nicely sealed in. Then string the wire through the hole in the bottom of the hat or the top of the hat. Cut off any extra wire because I always put excess wire on my things. And then glue a little bead to the bottom of the wire so it can't fall out. And here is the final design. This one has so much whimsy to it, I just can't get enough. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And if you decide to make a recreation, one, I would be so flattered. And two, I'd love to see it. So please share it with me on Facebook or Instagram. And I will see you next time. Bye.